Hi, well, I'm super excited to introduce you to Andrew Fee. Andrew is the Vice President of Strategic Partnerships for the Special Olympics of Pennsylvania. So, Andrew, thank you for coming on the Butler Buzz. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for all your support of Special Olympics. Absolutely. I love the Special Olympics. I love the athletes. I love the coaches. I love the volunteers. What's there not to love, <laughs> right? But what I want to know more is a little bit about you. What? How did you get involved in the Special Olympics? Because from what I know, it wasn't as an employee to start. No, I started in volunteering. So similar to you, I just love the joy of the true sports competition. I was working in college athletics. We started hosting an event at Geneva College and I was like, wow, this is really powerful. This is good sportsmanship, fun, competitive sports. People really appreciate things. Uh, I'm not taking anything away from college athletes, but that's not always the vibe coaching college <laughs> athletics. So uh, I jumped in and started volunteering. Uh, my wife uh, started volunteering as well. And okay. We just, we always say like Special Olympics is our life now. Right. Because um, people always talk about work-life balance. I'm like, no, this is our life. We volunteer still in three different sports, coaching together, okay. coaching softball. That's where we met, coaching college softball. So it's just a really cool uh, organization to be a part of. And we just, we love it. Yeah. So yeah. now, if I remember correctly, that's been about 10 years. Yeah. And I know our audience is aware of the Special Olympics, but I want to just remind everybody about, you know, what is the mission? Yeah. Who does it serve? Yeah, I think it's important to highlight that we have competitive sports and over 21 Olympic style sports right now. In Southwest PA, we have a few locally popular sports where we might do rowing since we have the beautiful three rivers and pickleball and stuff that cornhole that's catching on. Right. Um, but 21 different sports in four seasons uh, for people with intellectual disabilities. So we really want to have a year round sports experience. Right. Training, competition. Uh, we do a lot of health activities with non-invasive health screenings and then leadership trainings as well. So we're really working in the pillars of health, leadership, and of course, competitive sports. Right. And I would encourage you, if you have not read, read about the history and everything that Andrew's mentioning, there's so much great information because something when I learned in preparing for this that I was unaware of was how much this does help with the health screenings yeah. and the medical checkups that many individuals might not otherwise receive. Yeah. At all of our state competitions, we do what's called healthy athletes. So they're non-invasive screenings. You know, we special smiles is one of the programs where we check for teeth decay. If someone needs braces, we do hearing aids. So we're about to reach 15,000 screenings okay. in Pennsylvania, okay. uh, a little over the last 10 years when we started. So uh, it's really, really cool that we're reaching that milestone. Uh, hope, hopefully we'll reach that this fall. So really life changing experiences outside of the sports realm. That's right. But definitely within the sports realm too. Yeah. That's, those are the fun facts that you learn when you start learning more about this. That's just one of the reasons why I want to have you on. I'm like, this is so much more than just these amazing individuals competing yeah. in these sports. It's, it's like you said, leadership and friendship and socialization and, and healthy living yeah. and, and a lot of good goodness. So What's some exciting things that are happening or coming up? You had mentioned to me before the interview started that there's a softball tournament. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, we're hosting the first ever national tournament in Pittsburgh. Uh, no off season actually in Russellton, PA. Okay. Um, so this is the first time Special Olympics Pennsylvania has ever hosted a national tournament. So it's called the Special Olympics North America Softball Championships. We'll have 30, around 30 teams uh, from Canada and then representing 13 states across the country. Uh, coming to Pittsburgh, my wife and I coached the team. Okay. Uh, we went to this tournament last year in Virginia, uh, had a great time. Our team had a great time. And we're like, we really need to bring this to Pittsburgh and start to highlight, you know, this, this Southwest PA is such a sports town, Area, right? Right. right? And we just, we are passionate about sports. And I think it's really important for us to show a different aspect of sports that is still competitive. Um, but just highlight athletes of all abilities. So we're excited to do that in, in September, September 5th through the 8th. Okay. It's free. We invite everyone to come out and really experience you know, some great softball. Sure, absolutely, yeah. and cheer on those athletes. Yeah. So what if somebody's listening to this and they have an individual that they know and love and care for that would like to get involved in the Special Olympics as an athlete? You have to be eight years old. Yep. And what are the, re are the other requirements? Yeah, eight years old, and we serve people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. So. Uh, someone may have a physical disability, but that's often a misconception where 
the Paralympics are for people just with physical disabilities. So intellectual okay. and developmental disability uh, can go on our website, www.specialolympicspa.org. Go to the Become an Athlete page, and it's really just a health history that allows them to sign up and get involved with sports. And we want them to go try a sport that they love. We want them to go try a sport that they've never done before. Right. And try a sport that they're thinking, oh, I don't think I'm going to like that. Because then they can, you know, really develop some good friendships across the board, different right. types of athletes, and really challenge themselves to do their personal best. That's that's when Eunice Kennedy Shriver started this organization. That's what she yeah. wanted. Over 60 years ago. Yeah, yeah, right? exactly. There's no charge. No charge. Right. And they're always looking for, of course, volunteers, more coaches. Yeah. And what I was reading is you don't have to have specifically have like nece or necessarily have coaching experience in a particular sport. If you're willing to, to donate your time and willing to learn, they'll help you to become prepared to do that. Yeah, exactly. And we do, we want quality coaching. Right. Uh, we want our athletes to grow in the sport, uh, but we're willing to train and work with anyone to get them to that point. Yeah, so. absolutely. And then in Butler County, we have something exciting coming up that definitely benefits the Special Olympics of Pennsylvania. Yeah. And that's the 2024 Can-Am Police and Fire Games, if I have that correct. Yeah, correct, yeah. And that's something you might want to learn about too and support, and that's coming up in July. Andrew, there's so much more we could talk about. Yeah. I hope we got enough in. Yeah. But you can always come back. Thank you so much for everything you do. Yeah, thanks for all the support of Special Olympics, and thanks to Butler County for all the support of the Special Olympics athletes. All right, so. and thank you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.